the number before, the number after and the number in the middle. First we will learn about the number after. Now here is the train. In the first block, 6 is written. After 6 comes 7 in the counting. So we write 7 in the next block. Here we have 8. What comes after 8? You write. So write 9 in the block. Next is 5. Tell me, what comes after 5 in the counting? Yes, it is 6. So write 6. Now we have number 1. After 1 we have, write again, 2. So write 2 over here. The number before. Let us learn the concept of the number before. Here we have a train. In the later block, number 4 is written. And in the counting, what comes before 4? Well, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it has to be 3. Write 3 in the first block. Next is number 8. Tell me, what comes before number 8? You're right. It is number 7. So write 7 over there. What comes before 5? You are correct. It is 4. So write 4 in the block. Now last is 6. What comes before 6? Yes, it is number 5. So write 5 in the block. Now children, you have learned the concept of number after and the concept of the number before. Now we will talk about the middle number. Now here you will find a train of 3 blocks. In the first block 2 is written. In the last block, 4 is written and the middle block is empty. So we have to find the number which comes between number 2 and 4. Let's begin with counting. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the number which comes between 2 and 4 is 3, which means the middle number is 3. Now the next is 5 dash 7. What comes between 5 and 7? Right, it is number 6. So write 6 in the block as it is the middle number. Now, what is the middle number between 4 and 6? Well, it is 4. 5, 6. So the middle number is 5. What is the middle number between 7 and 9? If you count, it is 7, 8, 9. So the middle number is correct, 8. Well, let us see this chart. The numbers. Now, it has three columns. Before, in the middle, after. If you notice, 6 is the number before 7 and 8 is the number after 7. And 7 is the middle number between 6 and 8. In the next row, 4 is the number before 5, 6 is the number that comes after 5 and 5 is the middle number. Now similarly we will fill the chart. The number before, in the middle, after. Now 2 is written in the middle. Let us see what comes before 2. It is 1. So write 1 over there. And what comes after 2? 
it is 3. So write 3 in the after column. Now we have 8. Tell me children, what comes before 8? Yes, you're right. It is 7. So we'll write 7 over there. And what comes after 8? It is 9. So write 9 in the after column. Now let us see the next chart. We have 6 in the middle. What comes before 6? Correct. 5. So write 5 in the before column. What comes after 6? Write it is 7. So write 7 in the after column. What comes before 3? Yes, you write 2. So write 2 over there. And what comes after 3? Of course it is 4. So write 4 over there. 